It's special election night for San Diegans in District 4 as they cast their ballots to elect who will represent them on the Board of Supervisors. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Kimberly Hunt. And ballot drop-offs and vote centers are open across the area from North Park and Hillcrest, where ABC 10 News reporter Natalie Chuck is speaking with voters. And farther east at this church in La Mesa. My co-anchor, Wally Aliou, leads coverage tonight from the North Claremont Rec Center. Hi, Wally. A couple of minutes ago, Kimberly, I just spoke with one of the poll workers here. They say they've been here for the last 11 days, and we are now down to the final day. In fact, the final two hours. And this location in Claremont is actually a good location to come to as I watch a few people walk in here. Everybody I've seen come in, it's been a very quick visit. They park the cars here, they're in and out, dropping off their ballots, and it's a simple process. Now, this is not necessarily the biggest district, but the county says it is the most ethnically diverse district in San Diego. That's very important. I want to give you a closer look right now at the area. More than 675,000 people live here. The district includes communities like Kearney Mesa, Mission Valley, Hillcrest, Balboa Park, Lemon Grove, and La Mesa, among many others. Four candidates, four of them, are vying for that seat on the Board of Supervisors, including three women. What does that mean if Paul McGuig does not win? One of the three women would be the very first woman to ever serve on the board's first district. All right, let's show you their pictures here. The candidates do include Janessa Goldbeck, I just mentioned Paul McGuig, Monica Montgomery Stepp, and Amy Reichert. If none of these four get the majority vote tonight, there will be a special runoff on November 7th. Earlier today, we spoke with the Registrar of Voters about voter turnout so far and how important they take election security. With District 4, we're at nearly 400,000 registered voters. So we've received over 75,000 ballots back already. We anticipate receiving more in the mail, um, and we will have that projected number tonight during the final official, unofficial election night results. We focus on elections here in California in San Diego County and with every election, we, um, we hold election security, the integrity of every vote uh, of the utmost importance. So for us, this is just part of the work we do every day. ABC 10 News reporter Natalie Chuck has been bouncing all around town to different polling centers throughout the day. She's joining us not live from the one in Hillcrest. What are you hearing and seeing out there today, Natalie? Hey there, Wale. Yeah, well, one poll worker here told me he has been impressed at the steady flow of people coming to drop off their ballots today, coming here to vote. You can see the voting center here in Hillcrest is decked out outside, convincing people to come in and vote. The sign out here says, use your power. I just saw one guy heading in there pretty recently, but we are hoping to see some more people heading out with those I voted stickers as we head later into the evening with people starting to get off of work. I spoke with several people voting today. Today. Many of them are actually not too familiar with the background story when it comes to how we ended up with a special election in District 4. One man here told me he heard about the election through his co-workers. Another woman out in La Mesa says she just started seeing information coming in through her mailbox. Still, they both knew they wanted to show up and vote. A big topic for candidates and voters in this election has been housing and homelessness. One man told me he's hoping whoever wins will work on improving encampments and the homeless population in the county. Another woman says public safety is her biggest concern. There is still time to vote. Get out here tonight. It is quick and easy and the other voters are encouraging you to make the time no matter who you were voting for. You know, I'm recovering from foot surgery, so I was able to get out here, but e even after work, it just takes a minute and um, stay informed because it, I I'm, not, I'm not smarter than anybody here. I just, I just took the time. And these polling centers don't close until 8 o'clock tonight, so you still have time. There are 14 of them throughout the district, and there are also 29 ballot drop-off boxes throughout the district, so you can definitely find one near you. Reporting in Hillcrest, Natalie Chuck, ABC 10 News.
Thank you, Natalie. And I have my ballot right here. I'm going to drop it off as soon as this hit is over. For everyone else, as Natalie mentioned, you have until 8 o'clock tonight, just two more hours to cast your ballot. If you need to find a location near you, if you don't want to come here, that's fine. We have the map and resources you'll need under the resource center on 10news.com. We will, of course, stay on top of this story throughout the evening and bring you updates as soon as the results come in. We'll send it back to you for now in the studio, Kimberly. Yeah, down to the last couple of hours. Thank you, Wale.